the moon float like a balloon. You see, it's never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's I to be in living color. And how would you feel knowing prejudice was obsolete? And all mankind danced to the exact beat. And at night it was safe to walk down the street. In living color. <laughs> In living color Yours and what's yours is mine In living color And how would you feel knowing everybody was your friend From thin to thicker through thick and thin And egotistical trips was put to an end In living color Like a balloon, you see, it's never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's I to be in living color. And how would you feel knowing prejudice was obsolete? And all mankind danced to the exact beat, and at night it was safe to walk down the street. In living color. Ladies and gentlemen, Keenan Ivory Wayans. Thank you. I'm Kenny Ivy Wayans, and welcome to Living Color. We've been having a lot of fun here the past few weeks. Uh, you know, I've been getting like a lot of letters, people asking me what I like most about doing the show, and I guess it's working with my family. And I'd like to start by introducing my baby brother and my DJ, SW1. <laughs> what you doing with my shoes on, man? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna wear those and take them off, man. Get my shoes. Oh, come on, man. These ain't yours. Get my shoes. <laughs> How you gonna do this to me, man, on TV? Go in my closet. <laughs> All right, now I wanna introduce my fly girl starting over here with Carrie, Deidre, Michelle, Lisa. All right, we about ready to get things rolling. It ain't funny, man. Give him my shirt. <laughs> you said I could wear it yesterday. Give him the shirt, man. Chill out before I take my chest back. On Fox this fall, a principal breathes new life into a failing beauty school in the uplifting miniseries Lean on Me Beautiful. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is your new principal. Now, when I point to you, I want you to line up. You, 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 and you, and you. Line up now. Expeditiously. <laughs> now, I want all of you to take a good look at them. Take a good look at these mutants. <laughs> these are the ugliest kids in the class. They have no place here. I want you all to go home to your ugly parents right now. Get on out of here. Hurry up, move on. You too, Buzzy. This is an outrage. You can't talk to my students this way. I'm going to the school superintendent. Well, go on then. And let the door hit you in the big putty butt. Why, I never. I bet you have not. <laughs> Ma, do you know what they say about you out there? Huh? Greasehead, do you know what they say about you? <laughs> they say that the reason you're in a beauty school is because you're too stupid to go to a regular school. I happen to think they're right. But when I'm through with you, you'll be the smartest dumb people out there. <laughs> what do you want, ugly? I don't want to go. <laughs> Come with me, boy. Hey, 
<laughs> now, what makes you think you can be a beautician? Huh? What makes you think you can give beauty tips to somebody? Uh, Look not, at yourself. Not, You're ugly, boy. <laughs> Is your parents ugly? Yeah. Well, you gonna grow up to look just like them. If you got ugly parents, you might as well just jump out the window. You use chemicals in your hair? No. Do you use chemicals in your hair? Yeah. Now you got a bad perm and you're ugly. The world don't need another ugly boy with a bad perm. Just go on and jump, son. Okay. And what are you all looking at? Huh? Let me hear the school song. Uh, 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 Let me hear the school song now. Uh, we don't have a school song. <laughs> you don't uh, have one? No. Then make one up. Uh, 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 uh. Farewell for beauty. Academy. You can do better than that. I said, Wilford Beauty Academy. Wilford Beauty Academy. Academy. Wilford yes, indeed. what you have done to those children. I can see why they call you Crazy Joe. You are an egotist and a demagogue. Excuse me, children. May I talk to you outside for a Follow moment? Follow me. <laughs> Carry on. Now, first, they're going to take those children. Don't you help! Oh, She used to call me Crazy Joe. Now she just called me Batman. I want this place clean up right now. I want this to go crazy. This is... No, Joe, Joe, no, Joe. There's been a mistake. You weren't supposed to come to Wilford Beauty School. You were supposed to come to Wilford Central High School. You'll have to go, Joe. But I got so much more to break up. I don't make the rules. Well, I'm sorry, children. I'll no longer be your principal. I've been reassigned. Don't go, Mr. Clark. We need you. We love you, Mr. Clark. Yeah, Joe, don't go. I mean, who's going to give me that extra push I need? <laughs> well, you children really are stupid. <laughs> well, maybe I should stick around. Looks like they're going to need somebody to lean on. <laughs> yeah. All righty, then. Lean on me. Joe Clark Story Part 2, only on Fox. I found true love and happiness. And I found the guy of my dreams. And you too can enjoy interracial splendor on the, the Mitzvah, Mitzvah train. train. So why not climb aboard the Mitzvah Train, the city's premier Afro-Judeo video dating service? <laughs> Bridge some of those cultural gaps while doing the wild thing. You'll find you have a lot more in common than you thought. Slavery, hard to manage hair, Sammy Davis Jr. Hey, maybe your grandfather was your date slumlord. Mine was. So why not give it a try? That's right. I didn't know a matzo ball from a basketball. <laughs> till I met Mitzi. Ahmad taught me the Roger Rabbit dance, and I was even able to try it out at a cool Mo D concert. I love my Yiddish mama so much, I've had myself circumcised. Twice. And I'm thinking about going back for another cut. So come on down to Mitzvah Train. And remember, we're not only the owners of the Mitzvah Train, but we're, we're also, also clients. <laughs> Strong, you are beautiful, you are perfect. Welcome to the show for, by, and about women. I'm your host, Shawanda Harvey. Many of you have read my book, Eve Stands Alone. In this book, I try to encourage women to be strong, independent, and unencumbered by the fetters of a man's world. Today, my guests are two women that say that my book has changed their lives. Let's welcome, from the New City Dance Ensemble, Kiana. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. All right, all right. And prominent artist, 
Lavonia Bethune. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. Go on. Kiana, you are strong, you are beautiful, you are perfect. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. How has my book changed your life? Shawanda, mm -hmm. when I first became interested in Dan, mm -hmm. the male entity that I was dwelling with, mm -hmm. he didn't support me. Gone, girl. Girl, he tried to trivialize my womanly creativity. No. <laughs> yes, he did. Mm -mm -mm. But your book, your book showed me that I did not need a man yeah. to there validate you go. me. Gone, girl. Gone, girl. Gone, girl. Gone. 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 Lavonia, you are strong. You are perfect. What about beautiful? Oh, of course you're beautiful. <laughs> Don't you have a similar story? Oh, I most certainly do. Mm -hmm. Do you know that when I wanted to take art lessons, mm -hmm. my significant other was too cheap to pay for? Mm -hmm. Typical, sister, mm -hmm. typical. typical. And then he used to have this line he would say to me, a woman is as sweet as honey as long Don't as she, she don't, don't want, want no money. money. Yeah. Significant other used to say the same thing to me. Girl, mm. go on. Then he tried to make it up to me by buying me this cheap fake African necklace. Hey, you know, I used to have a necklace just like that. No. Yeah, girl. But I showed him that he wasn't nearly as significant as he thought he oh, was. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go go And now you're an up and coming That's artist, right. and you don't have to depend on a man. That's mm -mm. Right. No, but you no. can't depend on a man. I know you can't. Girl, you can't you depend can't on a man. Depend on my man took art lessons. Mm -hmm. He came home with all these nude drawings. Mm -hmm. Talk about he don't need no nude model to draw. Gone. I look like a fool to you? Not to me. No. Do I look like a fool? Not my sister. Girl. You talk about up and coming? No. Mm -hmm. I can't trust my Umbatu as far as I can throw him. Mm -mm. Umbatu? Umbatu! That's my man's name. Oh, oh. Sister, sister, sister. Oh, no, sister, you know how art is. You can't have nothing. I recognize her big butt anywhere. Oh. Big butt, honey. At least I got one. A man's got to have something to hold is on that to. So? Remember, go on, girl. You better go, go on. on. And speaking of something to hold on yes. to, he better not try holding on to that fake hair of yours. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. Oh, see, now you need to take your flat behind, no dancing, wanna be on Soul Train or Africa, so that's America, that's where they found you, okay? Oh, that's that's, so. right. that's, that's right. right. That's right. You are fighting over a man. You don't need that. Remember, Eve stands alone. I was telling All right. Well, yeah. All together. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. <laughs> That's it today for Gone Girl, the show by, for, and about women. Didn't you lose on Star Search? <laughs> 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 First of all, we must internalize the flatulation of the matter by transmitting the effervescence of the Indonesian proximity in order to further segregate the crux of my venereal infection. Now, if I may retain my liquids here for one moment, I'd like to continue the redundance of my quote-unquote intestinal tract See, because to preclude on the issue of world domination would only circumvent, <coughs> excuse me, circumcise the revelation that it reflects the aphrodisiac symptoms which now perpetrates the Jericho's activation. See, so by do not misinterpret the chauvinistic... Give to the United Negro Scholarship Fund because a mind is a terrible thing to develop without help. Allow me to expose my colon once again. <laughs> the ramification inflicted on the incision placed within the fallopian cavities serves to be holistic, taken from the Latin word jalapeno. This fall on two two ethnic. Mm mm mm. Whoa. Ooh, uh huh. Mm. Mary. Nah, honey. What? Child. Ooh. Hush. She's out. Girl, I'll pull your 
911. You need 911 at 227 247 365. You hear me? Be there. This fall on Fox. What you doing? Cause I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. I look funny, but yo, I'm making money, see? So yo, world, I hope you're ready for me. Now gather round. I'm the new fool in town, and my sound's laid down by the underground. Timmy, where's Lassie? She's outside. I'll get her. <laughs> Lassie! Oh, Lassie! Lassie and I go out and play? I don't think that's a good idea, Timmy. This just isn't a safe neighborhood. Don't worry, Mom. Lassie will protect me. After all, there's no breed of dog that's smarter, more loyal, or more protective than a pit bull. Now, you and Lassie are to play indoors, and I won't hear another word about it, young man. <laughs> Mom, I think she's trying to tell us something. <laughs> well, what is it, girl? There's danger? What danger? From land? Fatherland? You think there would be some danger in the reunification of Germany? I understand your concerns, but the political climate today is much different than it was 50 years ago. Maybe we should stop lining Lassie's dog bed with U.S. News and World Report. I think you might be right, Timmy. Somebody lost an arm. It's a good thing you found it, Lassie. Maybe the owner will give us a reward. Well, I'll just put it over here with the other arms, Tim. <laughs> Listen, Mom. I think Lassie's trying to tell us something else. What's that, girl? Open the letter? Why? Oh, Timmy, it's an eviction notice. They're trying to throw us out of our home for harboring a dangerous animal. Now, what animal could they be referring to? That's it, Mom! That's what Lassie was trying to tell us! Not fatherland, landlord! See? We were in danger and Lassie was helping us! Come here, girl. Let me give you a big hug. We love you a lot. We love you, Lassie! Richard Pryor is back. <laughs> and this time he's more scared than ever. <laughs>
It's really hot. I sure wish I could take a dip. Well, why don't you? Well, it's that time, and I'm not sure of my protection. <laughs> well, girlfriend, it's time you switch to a more absorbent brand. Here, try these. Vortex 2. I'm using them now. Mm. Vortex 2. It's super absorbent. 